Free Swirko. Jackson Skinner, he's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill, shit, chill, I got you, man, what's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie, I'll be in touch. Girl, you won't get down? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Whatever. You ain't nothing. I'm out of here. Hey, baby, what can I get for 10 bucks? You can get the bus home and jerk off thinking about me. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, baby. You miss me? I was starting to think you weren't coming. Oh, I always come. Aw, you such a smooth talker. Spot, baby? What's this guy's problem? Ride my ass. No, seriously, is that asshole following us? Is he vice? If you set me up, I will fucking kill you.
Hello. Slick. Oh, you must be Michael's boy. Oh, man. Sometimes enlightenment, it can be a real bitch. Good to meet you. Yeah, likewise, homie. We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? Yes, it's kind of like a little hobby of mine, requisitioning the underappreciated possessions of my contemporaries for some wealthy communists in China who will value them much more. <laughs> what? Robbing my so-called friends, Slick. Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else has, because they can afford it, because frankly, I'm rich enough to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're poor enough not to ask me any goddamn stupid questions. Now, I mean that as a friend. Namaste. That's a nice fucking speech about the value of friendship. Oh, of course you must be the creepy one. That's coming from you? Please. Mmm. What's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Telling you 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck does hey, How seven? about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, ooh, the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. Coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. They gonna stop with us back here. We gotta get right up behind them. Suspect has entered the Braddock Tunnel. Officer T maintains his pursuit. Stay on 
front of T, they'll stop eventually. Our patients will be rewarded. Stay with them. The only one I can't see that ball. Coming up on Cleo Bay. We're going to gain some ground on them. How you doing, T? We got to hang in there. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! Man, I'm sick of driving so slow staying with these fools. Can we have a real race? Oh, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't... Scratch the cars. Yes? Mm -hmm. I know that voice. You're that Johnson's Johnson. Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Devin Weston's Holding Company, if that's what you mean. Oh, keep talking. I'm enjoying this. Let's assume you're talking about the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South L.S. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Whoa, don't hang up. I, uh, I think I love you. Devin's lonely lawyer says go to Hayes Auto in South L.S., so that's where I'll be waiting.
places? Yeah, maybe. Something like that. That's it. Here comes the overtake. What's your angle, Mike? Is it just the smell of green, or is there some other thing with this guy and you? You know, it feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing a job. I'll leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Both of you. Back off her! We're here when I got in. Oh, come on, T man, please. Whoa, what happened there? Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, gimme five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the. Fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? 
I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk! Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life! It's just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good.